Hi, I'm Dr. Troy Clark. Please enjoy watching the brief videos of my motivational lectures. I would feel honored to speak for your adult group or sales training event or any corporate function, convention, award ceremony, banquet, cruise, seminar, webinar, or just any special meeting about the finer points of successful living or successful selling. How winners think, plan, focus, and most importantly, act. At your event, I can become available to meet your delegates, perhaps a live Q&A session. I can also set up my display table to make my books and superior sales scripts available at a significant discount price. I look forward to working together with you and to hear from you real soon. And remember, you can live your dreams. Believe it. I have sat where you sit before in a large audience like this, listening to a motivational speaker. Going through my head were thoughts of, I can do that. I think I can do better than that. <laughs> what can I say, what can I do that would positively impact, improve, even change your life? The truth is, ladies and gentlemen, I can't change your life. Only you can. You already possess ultimate, unlimited power over your life to grow it, improve it, change it into what you want your life to look like. From the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, with every fiber of my being, I believe with all of my heart that you can live your dreams. You can positively take charge of your world and create it into the successful, meaningful life you know you deserve to live. Are you listening to what life is telling you about yourself right now? In life, ladies and gentlemen, you don't get what you want. You get what you are. This means the quality of life you now have, the life you are living right now, directly connects to the person you have become at this point in time in your life. A better career, better relationships, better income, a better life means only one thing, a better you. And let's zero in our focus on bettering your life by improving yourself into who you truly want to be, a well-balanced, successful winner in life. This is the place, now is the time. This is truly where the magic of success begins. Four words. May I ask you to remember this phrase? Massive rejection equals success. Massive rejection equals success. A top sales producer is the person who hears the most no's. There is an initial upfront learning curve that every salesperson in your profession must push through. I'm talking about all of us, from the top producers all the way down. Every single salesperson must push through an initial upfront learning curve before realizing sustained successful results. Ordinary people doing extraordinary things. I have learned that success is not about having the perfect job. It's more about how good you do the job you've got. Success is not about the next greener pasture, the next great opportunity, it's about how well you pay attention to every detail and master the job that you've got because that's what's gonna open the doors to more opportunities and more success. To begin my sales career in 2003, I averaged closing 14 sales per week, acquiring 669 new clients within my first 48 weeks to become a national top producer of final expense life insurance policies. I would estimate an average final expense telesales agent closes between one and three, maybe one and four sales per week. I closed between seven and 12 sales per week. My first week I made nine sales, I worked 63 hours. Now when I throw out these kind of statistics and these kind of numbers, it attracts salespeople, especially insurance agents, and they want to hear more about that. Wow, Dr. Clark, how'd you do that? You made nine sales your first week, tell us more about that, how'd you do it? A lot of times what's conveniently overlooked is that little tidbit of information that I tagged onto the end of that statement, that little 63 hour part that I worked my first week. 
When you divide nine sales into 63 hours, folks, that's only one sale every seven solid hours on the telephone. I did that nine times my first week. And that was my work ethic in the week succeeding because I wanted to push through that learning curve and become successful sooner than later. Hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of policies that I closed came from delivering literally thousands upon thousands of sales presentations, which came from talking to literally tens of thousands of people, which came from dialing manually, I might add, dialing on the telephone hundred thousands of dials on the phone. There is no secret pill. There is no magic wand to success. A top producer is the person who hears the most no's. They go a little longer. They drive a little farther. They listen a little better. They smile a little bit more often. They master every facet of their craft. They persevere. They overcome. Ladies and gentlemen, you can be that person. I now own my skill set. I own it. That means nobody can take it away from me. Nobody can take away my ability to earn a six-figure annual income. I could stop what I'm doing right now, delivering sales motivational lectures across the country, and I could go back into doing personal sales, just me selling insurance policies over the telephone, and I could generate a six-figure annual income salary for my family and I, even in this economy. Why? Because I own it. I own my skill set. And ladies and gentlemen, when you decide to push through the learning curve of your profession and you decide to pay attention and master every facet of your craft, you're going to become very good at what you do and you're going to own it. You're going to own your skill set. And when you own it, nobody can take it away from you. A national economy can't take it away from you. A recession can't take it away from you. Your local economy can't take it away from you. Nobody can take away your six-figure annual income salary in sales. Why? Because you own it. Massive rejection equals success. A customer objection is not a rejection. To me, a customer objection is simply a customer's way of telling me how to close a sale. Then do what I call saddle up with your customer. Simply take your customer by the hand, as it were, figuratively speaking, and walk them through your best explanation as to why this simply is not an objection with our company. Doesn't have to be a perfect explanation, does not have to be an all-star explanation, just a good, solid, ethical explanation that you need to be prepared to give your customer. By the way, all of my best winning rebuttals to handle all common customer objections are located at finalexpensesuccess.com in my sales script manual. Walk them through your best explanation as to why this is not an objection with our company. Without skipping a beat, now, ask for the sale again. Keep asking for the sale. Okay, Mrs. Customer, out of these three options here, which one appeals to you the most? Okay, Mr. Customer, out of the options that we're looking at here, which one works best for your lifestyle and budget? Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, out of the options we have here in front of us, which one would best take care of your family if, God forbid, something should happen to you tonight? Keep asking, keep asking, keep asking for the sale. Uh, concern, rebuttal, ask. Objection, rebuttal, ask. Objection, rebuttal, ask. Keep asking, keep asking, keep asking for the sale. Ask, and ye shall receive. Doesn't the good book say that? A salesperson who is not closing enough sales is not doing enough asking. Keep asking for the sale. Don't run from your customer's objections. Use them, embrace them. Use your customer objections as stepping stones to close that sale today. In my book, How You Can Master Final Expense, I talk about you are the actual product. In sales, a customer must buy you before they purchase your product. But if a customer does not buy into a salesperson first, they will not purchase his or her product, even if your product is superior to all other products. The way you look, your dress attire, your smell, your communication skills, your body language, your voice inflection, your smile, 
We're going to talk about all of these. These are all important details that matter within a customer's instant decision-making process of whether or not they're going to do business with you today. I did not walk into a CEO's office recently of one of the world's largest insurance corporations with my favorite pair of shorts and tank top and flip-flops on with my hairy legs sticking out. <laughs> if that CEO would have seen my chicken bone legs, he would have ran out of his office screaming. That would have killed the whole meeting right there. While closing an average of 14 sales per week, dozens upon dozens of customer appointments each and every week, I never dressed, dressed casual, never dressed down, always wore a shirt and a tie. Why? Because I want that customer to know that they are important to me. They're important enough for me to look my best, to dress my best, to be at my best. Why am I wearing a suit and a tie and dress shoes tonight? Because you are important to me. My point is, a customer buys you first then your product is just simply a benefit of knowing you. In fact, the most important product in your company is you. The very moment a customer buys into you, they'll purchase your product. People relate to people. Your overall success in sales may very well depend on how well you present yourself, how well you relate to people, how well you develop people helping skills. More than anything else, Always remember, in sales, you are the actual product.